Hello guys, welcome to the Trends Bar Tutorial session on Jarboard. So, uh, in this session, we are focusing on how to uh, create a project by uh, Tickle script. So, Tickle uh, is actually stands for Tool Command Language. Uh, this is the uh, scripting language like Bash in Linux. Uh, in Tickle, we can uh, we can have different set of commands which uh, actually gives the uh, application program like Vivaro to run the uh, overall operation and running the project. So, uh, typical scripts can be used for uh, creating uh, projects, and even uh, we can create typical scripts uh, by creating project through graphical user interface. Also, we also have uh, some uh, observation on Vivaro API. So. Uh, in this session we are focusing on how to create a project actually how to create a project uh, mm, create a project from tickle scripts and in second uh, we will follow the turbo dma audio demo actually this session uh, will utilize the sources provided by digiland we will go to digiland websites and then we can see the uh, git repository where we will download their uh, project uh, tickle scripts and other sources so after that we will run that uh, tickle script into our vivado so uh, this is the main command uh, for running the tickle script for first of all we need to uh, uh, like uh, we need to change the vivado directory to our local download folder so let's go to the uh, digiland so we can uh, we can see here uh, initially we are going to do the running tickle scripts uh, into our vivado uh, and then after we will follow the turbo tma audio demo so uh, we already have uh, downloaded uh, g file and g file from digiland also you can download git repository from git repository and you can download zip on the location so uh, we already have uh, downloaded the zip so on generation of projects actually this zip uh, was prepared uh, with some tical scripts which is uh, uh, created on vivado 16 2016.2 version so uh, it need to be uh, run on same version of uh, vivado so we have some issues uh, like we have 2016.1 state so we need to change some parameters of that uh, tical scripts so let's go the go to download section here is a uh, uh, Jago Master Audio Demo downloaded section, so we can go to here. Uh, in projects, uh, we have uh, DMA, we can see the project. Uh, here is the main create project tickle which uh, we will going to run in our Vivado API. In this, uh, uh, in this, uh, sorry, uh, tickle script, I think uh, we don't need to change anything. Uh, we might change some these uh, parts and but we don't need to change these things but uh, in our block design tickle script we need to change some uh, other parameters to like uh, we need to go to sources body design this is the main uh, tickle script for uh, creating a block design so some IPs uh, may be uh, revised in 16.2 but uh, initially here is uh, 16.2 so we have to change it into 16.1 so it will run on our uh, pivado so if uh, the version doesn't matches here is a line uh, if version doesn't matches then it will say this is version is doing pivado 16.2 you need to run on 16.2 or uh, create a project uh, then after run on 16.1 so we are not going to see the uh, sentences so let's start uh, with running this main script create project script which actually uh, run the system the tickle so uh, in vivado we just need to copy our uh, main directory this is the project so this is the main tickle script which will run another block design tickle script so uh, we will copy it and we need to change change uh, directory to uh, Serially, this is much dirtier. I think uh, CDE colon slash. Uh, we have FP and then we have Jerboard. Then we have uh, sorry, I have very much. 
much let me uh, I think I have Jabo DM audio demo and Uh, actually, we have some difficulties because uh, this uh, project directory doesn't uh, need to we have some space uh, spaces like here is some space in the project. So we will need to uh, relocate those folders into our another location. Uh, we have some uh, some uh, difficulties on here. So I will need to change this folder into upper location. So this this is the folder. score instead of other signs so I will go to upper layer so I will run on here so the mass audio demo I think it will, it will be working so let's uh, so, so we are going to go to the bar so after this what we are going to do is report mass audio demo so there is default so we, need, we just need to uh, change our directory to this uh, location so it is changed so after that we can run source mm -hmm. create I think this is the command let's try it It will run the typical script if uh, the board part definition was not found for this event. Uh, actually, the board revision uh, has not uh, been uh, available in this Vibard uh, uh, version. We have updated our custom board of JRPods board files, so uh, I think it need to be changed. So let's let's change the boards. Uh, okay guys, uh, I have changed uh, some uh, uh, content of this typical uh, script, so I have changed the actually four parts, so it also need to be changed, so I have here four part distinct.com, so I have changed uh, change the uh, board part according to our uh, third board so uh, we can change any any into anyone so this board actually uh, already have uh, some constants so it will call constants if we use some default IPs but uh, we need to run this uh, create project tickle command so this board part will be here in in the first case. so here we have changed this uh, contents which is uh, from actually resilient ink but uh, our board files uh, uh, is uh, added of uh, em.avenue.com so this is the same the same type of zero so so let's run this typical uh, underscore project so for that we need to go to current directory and we need to run source create underscore uh, project dot typical Let's let's hope in this time there might not have some errors. So let's check. Actually, it would have different revisions. So according to revision, we need to change our board part setting also. So uh, in this uh, board file which we have added, this is for J board revision D. We also have revision D. So we have updated. Uh, the board uh, part in the uh, in that typical script according to our uh, board uh, setting so uh, let's see 
what depends on you uh, it will add some uh, building blocks ips uh, from ip integrator so ip catalog and this tickle script will did lots of job let's see uh, there is there are lots of ips which is also interconnected uh, by this uh, tickle script uh, we have some warnings so it must be address so uh, generable file has already been imported into the project the imported file is okay uh, no problem mm, we'll see it in later so until this our uh, uh, our main uh, HL wrapper file has also been created uh, we can uh, maximize it and even we can float it uh, like this so we have a uh, main code thing ps we have two gpios I actually GPIO sorry this is AXI I square C bus protocol actually we are doing uh, audio demo uh, DMA we are going to use like uh, DMA audio and demo DMA and we will use audio and we will also need uh, like in this uh, project we need to have speakers we need to have audio input device like uh, microphone mm -hmm. like in this type of device so uh, let's uh, let's uh, go to here uh, here is the xrt memory access uh, which uh, data memory access works for uh, converting uh, the uh, data data from streaming into memory map interfaces so we can see uh, it converts uh, stream axi stream into axi memory map so this type of conversion actually did from uh, direct memory access which is necessary uh, while we are uh, using some uh, like uh, storing memory some uh, uh, like those uh, inputs from i square c and we also have axi i2s i square uh, i2s uh, uh, audio uh, this is uh, uh, the one block is for audio input, another block is for audio output actually and we also have some buttons according to buttons then we have some changes and features so let's uh, zoom out uh, it and we can uh, we can see there is already have constraint so we don't need to we don't need to output the constant I think but this constant is for uh, I think ball uh, older board so we might need to change some some parameters also let's check mm, it has been used it is ios standards so we have updated our tickle script and we have run tickle commands uh, tickle script successfully after that uh, it uh, has created a project so we are going to generate we can see on here also so after uh, uh, creating a project so we need to uh, we need to generate pt stream then after uh, on the synthesis implementation and then pt stream will be done after that we will go to export sdk this is the main process which we are going to follow uh, so we have the lots of job uh, from that tickle script so we need to uh, we need to uh, click on the generate pt stream it will obviously call the previous steps like synthesize and implementation however i will go serially from around synthesis it will take some time so i wanted to wait so for some time so after that we will go to implementation we already have um, constant salix design constant so we don't need to uh, update any constant so after that we will generate the string then 